So what all do we really know about the eclipse on April 8th of 2024? Nothing. I don't know. I tried to make this a little scary, but uh, we know absolutely nothing. Truth is, I guarantee more than likely 99.99% chance that the eclipse is being blown out of proportion. You know how many stupid little posts I've seen about Oh, stock up on food, stock up on water, don't let your dog go out, don't stare at it, don't look at it, you need protective glasses, don't even go outside, it's not safe, you should stay home from school, stay home from work. <laughs> Why? Why are you acting like that? Don't be a little bitch. You want to know what it is? The eclipse is being blown out of proportion to see how well the elites can keep people scared and locked down Again, just like <clears throat> you didn't hear it from me, though. I guarantee you there's going to be some weird ass shit going on behind the scenes that no one's going to pay attention to because, oh, the eclipse, oh, 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 who gives a fuck? How often does it happen? Never. I don't fucking care. It doesn't affect me. I'm still going to work. I'm going to get up. I'm going to wake up in the morning. I'm going to do my workout. I'm going to go for a run. I'm going to fucking detox and cleanse for my, my morning. I'm gonna do my regular shit. I'm gonna work on my business. What's new? What's new, people? What other eclipse have people gone, oh, be careful, oh, oh, oh. Probably every single one. And if not, what's different about this one? Oh, sorry, did you hear that only all the elites are telling you that it's going to be dangerous? The big tech media news companies like CNN, BBC. Oh, yeah, that's right. That is where you heard that from. Right. So we can finally conclude that it's a fucking scam. Because if you use your brain for one second, you will understand that you're being lied to. But no one wants to open their eyes and see these type of things. They can't accept that they're being lied to. They just don't want to take it. See it. I understand you want to see it to believe it. You want to see things to believe things how they are. Ghosts not real. I haven't seen them. You don't know how real the spiritual arm is, but I'm not going to get into that because that's not for this video. This video is about the eclipse. Realistically, we don't know anything about it except for the fact that it's an eclipse. I'm not going to blow this out of proportion either. What I am going to blow out of proportion, though, is that there is going to be seriously though there's more than likely going to be something going on behind the scenes and i wouldn't doubt that so just be careful be very attentive wary about what's going on besides the eclipse the eclipse is the only thing that they've been focusing on this month and then you still get you know diversity and inclusivity here and there obviously it still happens never gonna fucking end here, you know what? Tell me about this. Tell me how the liberal agenda isn't bullshit. Why is it that gay people and trans people seem to think that they get to have an entire month? And there is, I will put the list up for you right now. This many lists of days, months, whatever, celebrations, just for being gay. I'm straight. Where's my fucking parade? Why don't I get to touch gates? Oh, because I'm not a pedophile like you are. All gay people are pedophiles, all trans are pedophiles. What's new? What's new? I hate it whenever I try to tell someone about the truth and they just go, Oh, but 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 that that's just lies. That's just fake. They they're lying to you. That's just but Trump. What? I just don't get it. People just can't can't accept things anymore. They just don't want to see it. You know, I'm still gonna try and preach everything that I can. That's what this channel is for, but you know, if you're just going to sit there and not even allow yourself to have an open mind about new points of view, you're an intellectual fool. Back on topic. For the last time, keep your eyes peeled. Pay attention to what's going on besides the eclipse. I swear, there will be something else going on besides the eclipse. And they just want you distracted with it so they can do their shit behind the scenes, and that's what happens. Just like with the Taylor Swift and whatever the other sports guy that she 
was dating or got proposed or married to or whatever. I don't know. I don't keep up with it because I, first of all, I don't care about sports. It's another fucking distraction that keep you fat, stupid, and dull. Same with celebrities. And they're all also pedophiles, Satanists, Sinists. What's new? Final message, I have a new video coming out this Friday, so watch out for that. And it's about very deep things, so I will more than likely get banned. So if uh, that video, if, there, if there's a video on Friday that just doesn't happen, doesn't pop up, that's what happened. Either I got temp temporarily banned again, or just permanently from YouTube. So watch out for that, because it'll probably happen, just letting you know. But I'm still going to try and upload it, because... I will not be silenced. And as Stu Peters once said, I refuse to be silenced or muzzled. That applies to me as well. I'll never stop fighting this. I genuinely have a pull from God, from my heart. Today's church service was about God putting burdens on people, but not a negative burden. He puts burdens on your heart to give you direction. And the burden in my heart is to preach the truth. Not just the gospel. On my Instagram, I've been posting, you know, I've updated my Instagram. If you want to check that out in the description. And also, I've been posting uh, daily scripture scripts on my story. So if you want to keep up with that, go ahead. And yeah, I'm, I'm never, I'm quite frankly never going to stop fighting this for any reason whatsoever. They can ban me. They can silence me. They can imprison me. They can murder me. I don't care. I will be just another example of what happens when you speak the truth and when you speak out. The day that at some point, if it gets to the point where I, I slip up and I say something that they never wanted coming out. Because look, it happened to Michael Jackson. It's happened to Andrew Tate. It's happened to Alex Jones. It's happened to Donald Trump. How many people has it happened to? An unfathomable amount. You speak out against, you either get silenced or in the modern day you get deplatformed. And then if you continue, sorry, I'm trying to get my hands out of lighting. After deplatformation, you get imprisoned, so you get thrown in jail without a real reason or prosecution or have a, a trial, and then you get let out. Maybe if you're lucky, like the Tates. Either in jail or they just throw a bunch of stupid accusations and charges against you like Trump and Alex Jones just for bullshit and for fun because they want to fuck with you and see if you'll give up. And if you continue after that, if they feel the need to, stage three, they'll kill you. So if I get to that point, remember that I'm just another living example of exactly what they will do to you. What they'll do to anyone. But I'm not afraid. Because I know where I'm going at the end of the day with God by my side. I know where I'm going. I know where they're going. And if you support them, I know where you're going to. You should know that. So I hope that I can convert people. Because, I mean, we're in the end times, but this isn't the end of the story yet. And I'd like to write my own fucking chapter, so that's exactly 